For many years now, accessing crucial government services has proved to be challenging to Kenyan citizens. Come on Friday. In line with the Jubilee Manifesto and the requirements of the Constitution of Kenya regarding quality access to public services to meet aspirations of the Kenya Vision 2030, the government has implemented the Huduma Kenya program. This is the promise of a digital government of radically eased access to public services and a one-stop shop for government services. <laughs> Tumepiga hatua ya kulipa deni ya ahadi tulizowapatia wananchi wa Kenya. Huduma Kenya exists to provide efficient government services at the convenience of the citizen. There are five channels of service delivery under the program. These are Huduma Centers. These are physical locations where various public services are provided from a common facility. The idea of, of Huduma Centers came up as an initiative of the overall public service reform, one in response to the constitutional requirement that the public service becomes responsive and um, more efficient and effective and um, transparent and we also deal with the challenges that have always kept the public service including corruption. So far we have partnered with the county governments where we have set up the Huduma Centers. So in the Huduma Center you will find services by the national government and you will also find services by county governments. The Huduma Kenya Secretariat has successfully rolled out fully operational Huduma Centers, each with a range of between 22 to 27 services, which include issuance of duplicate national identity cards, renewal of driver's licenses and status check, NHIF registration, claims and member statements, assessment and payment of land stamp duty, search and registration of business names and registration of welfare groups among others. Currently we have a total of 12 operational Huduma centers. Three of them are in Nairobi at the GPO here at City Square and at Makadara and uh, we have others, a uh, total of another nine Huduma centers across different counties. We have a Huduma center in Machakos, a Huduma center in Mombasa, a Huduma center in Embu, in Nyeri, in Kajiado, in uh, Eldoret, in Nakuru, in Kakamega, and in Kisumu. And we are in the process of establishing two more Huduma centers in Kisi and in uh, Isili here in Nairobi. This is the best thing. Kwa sababu unaona kiazi yote hapa inapatikana kwa mara moja na ina haja usumbuke kwa ndaibu na ibu. Gavaba tunawashukuru na nawambia ikeza kanto wa ungeza tui setup kabika. Yuwa senge ya mikuwa kiumia sana kabika mwa hivu. It was my first day at the Makadara. The service was okay. Absolutely no corruption. I found it very convenient, particularly when paying my electricity bill. Because when you go at the electricity house, the place is so congested, and here you just take barely five minutes. The second channel of service delivery under Huduma Kenya program is the Huduma web portal. This is an online channel that will provide services offered by various national government ministries, departments and agencies. Huduma Mobile Platform. This is a platform to offer government services to citizens from the convenience of their mobile phones. This is a digital government. We are already in the process of coming up with an e-portal and also um, we are in the process of also seeing how we can get the Huduma service on your mobile uh, phones. Huduma Call Center. This center enables citizens to inquire about services offered by different government agencies through calling the Huduma contact numbers. Huduma Payment Gateway. This is a unified system to facilitate the ease of payment for government services. Citizens are enabled to use a variety of payment options such as mobile and online payment services. Today, I have a new license. I expire Jana and I come to Leon and I can get a size within 20 minutes. I can get a time wastage and I can get a lot of time digital. I can get a lot of time with my wife and I can get a lot of time. I can get a lot of time. The joy you see with the public servants serving 
and they tell me the satisfaction they have when a Kenyan says, I'm proud to be a Kenyan if this is what my government is doing. It gives us the motivation. And for me, that is the biggest transformation because it changes the stereotypes we've had before. I have a lot of digital because I have a lot this is the new face of the new government. What we would want to Kenyans to see is um, a government that is responsive to the needs of the Kenyan citizens. The old school must give way to this new idea. We want to transform Kenya. And we will never transform Kenya unless we transform the public service.